Today I'm going to tell you about a banking product that's very, very interesting. It is called the POSB Cashback Bonus and it actually gives you interest without a balance in your bank account. In fact, you can get as much as $70 to $100 each month without much fuss. So be sure to watch to the end of this video because I will also provide you on how to achieve this and easy ways you can reach this amount. The POSB Cashback Bonus is actually a bank program that I wrote about more than three years ago when I first started my blog. And somehow I forgot all about it, even though I've been using it for the longest time. And I think it's time for me to share it with my readers and viewers on my website and YouTube channel. The POSB cashback bonus is very compelling because it allows you to earn cash back without having a balance in your bank account. And therefore you free up your bank savings to be placed in, into another account like the UOB1 for high interest, while you achieve the requirements of your POSB cashback to get extra money each month. The POSB cashback bonus requires you to meet at least three of the five requirements that is set out and they are salary crediting, spend, mortgage, investments, as well as insurance. Now, some of these categories are easier to meet than others and I will highlight them through the course of this video. Drop me a like and in return, I'll show you a cute cat for real. The most straightforward of all these requirements, I would say is mortgage requirement and you either have a mortgage with DBS and therefore meet this very easily or you don't have a mortgage and just ignore this requirement altogether. Now my mortgage used to be with DBS so I frequently maxed out the mortgage requirement getting $30 from this category alone by doing nothing. Now if you don't have a DBS mortgage, does it make sense to come over to DBS just for the $30? Not really, but if the mortgage rates are comparable to other bank accounts, then yes, I would say POSB cashback bonus uh, $30 each month may actually tip the scale for you to get a DBS mortgage rather than one with another bank. But aside from that, I think mortgage again, very straightforward, you either have it or don't. So let's move on to the other categories. The next very straightforward category would be the insurance requirement. And it is straightforward because I would say skip this because it doesn't matter if you have an insurance policy with DBS or manual life, which it requires, it needs to be bought after you start your POSB cashback bonus account. And I think there's no point in trying to achieve this category because you have to buy an insurance product and you may not even need the insurance product. So why even bother just for about $30 per month? And you need to buy a thousand dollars of premium to get $30 a month. So uh, just skip this requirement unless you really need one of the policies that they are selling you, which I highly doubt. That leaves us with the three main categories I think we should look at, which is salary, credit card spend, as well as investments. Uh, and these three requirements are the easiest to meet for $70 of cashback each month. And if you have a DBS mortgage, then it's additional 30, making it $100 of cashback each month. Now, if you look at salary, again, this is pretty straightforward. And all you need to do is to credit your jobs salary each month to this account, and you will get 0.3% on salary credited, provided you reach at least $2,500 credited each month. The cashback for the salary component maxes out at $20 each month, meaning to say you must credit at least $6,667 of salary in order to max out the cashback and get your $20 every month. Now, let's say you already have salary being credited to one of your other bank accounts and you want to still get the cashback from here. Is there an easy way to fulfill the salary crediting requirement here? Yes, but more on that later. WeWoo is having this excellent promo where you fund any amount, any amount at all, and you walk away with buy free shares. All you have to do is sign up with my link put in any amount that you want and hold it for 30 days. Thereafter, you can get five free shares for you to keep or sell and they are worth at least US $10 each. On top of that, there's a weekly draw of $888 worth of Tesla shares to walk away and you may even win the grand prize of a Tesla Model 3 car. So thanks for using my link and thanks to Weeboo for sponsoring my YouTube channel. The next category is the credit card spend requirement and as the name suggests, all you have to do is to make spending on your DBS and POSB credit cards within a month and you'll get 0.3% cashback on the spends and this is on top of the usual card rewards you get from your DBS Women's World Mastercard, your DBS Live Fresh, etc. Again, the maximum cashback you can get for this category is $20, which means you need to make at least $6,667 worth of spend within a month and yeah, if you're spending already exceed this amount, congrats, you'll get extra $20 on top of all your card rewards just by enrolling in the POSB cashback program. Now, if you don't actually have this much spend a month, is there an easy way to meet the spend? Again, yes, there is, but more on that later. The final category will be the investment requirement, and it gives you 3% cashback 
for amounts that you buy through POSB Invest Saver, which means if you invest $1,000 each month, you actually get $30 back. And that is a pretty good deal considering how you can liquidate the investments at any point of time. Do know that there's a sales charge of 0.5 to 0.82%, but since you get 3% cashback, that more than covers your investment charge. And therefore, this is still a very good category for you to fulfill uh, if you want an investment category. Now, what if you can't or do not want to invest that much? Is there a workaround? Again, the answer is yes. And we'll move on to this section where I teach you the ways to easily fulfill these three requirements. Do know that if you want to have a POSB cashback bonus, you actually have to switch out from DBS multiplier if you already have one. You cannot have both accounts under the same name at the same time. My advice would be to switch out of DBS multiplier because it's not the best account right now. And in any case, you can get your cashback from POSB cashback bonus and then put your bank savings into another bank account, uh, perhaps UOB1 or OCBC360, and get your interest from there, thereby earning uh, cash from both sides. An easy way to fulfill the salary requirement for the POSB cashback bonus would be very similar to the hack that I shared about UOB1 account salary crediting. All you need to do is to use another bank account, even a personal account, and make a non-fast transfer with the payment purpose coded as salary to your POSB cashback bonus account. Now, many bank accounts actually don't allow you to do so, but I've discovered that UOB lets you select a non-fast transfer with the purpose of salary payment, and that actually counts as salary under the POSB cashback bonus, giving you your 0.3% cashback each month. So all you have to do is just create a transfer of $6,667 transfer it to your POSB cashback bonus account, tag it as salary, and boom, you get $20 each month satisfying the salary requirement. For the investments category, remember when I said that the investments can be liquidated at any time? Well, you can just buy $1,000 worth of the fund and then thereafter liquidate them once you have gotten your $30 cashback. Now you do pay a little sales charge, 0.5% for the ABF bond fund, but you get 3% cashback, so you still earn around $25 doing this little trick. Now do know that investments come with volatility, so if you buy $1,000 worth, it may drop to $950 and then you have made a loss of $50, or it may grow by $50, $100 and then you make a profit just like that. But we will pick the ABF bond fund because it is less volatile than the equity funds, and of course it has a lower sales charge of 0.5% compared to 0.82% of the other funds. Of course, note that this is not investment advice. This is just a way for you to get the cash back from your POSB cash back bonus. Whether or not to remain vested in such funds is something between you and your financial advisor. Uh, hopefully someone you can trust and is ethical. The last category of spend also has a workaround for you to easily meet $6,667 worth of spend on your DBS or POSB credit card. But you have to subscribe to my Telegram group for it because there are a few reasons why I'm not sharing it in this video. When it comes to sharing hacks that will better everyone's finances, there is a very uh, thin line on where it starts to get very hazy and contentious. And I think this falls quite near the line. And I've been sitting on this thing for the longest time. And I think that there'll be some people who'll be like, hey, Seth, why have you not shared this secret? While there will be some who say, oh my God, Seth, you're now sharing this secret. How could you? So it's very hard for me to balance this line. And the way I see it is that I would typically keep quiet about such things because my channel and my website is more about sharing tips, good practices, avoiding bad products like ILPs, and other things that most people can benefit from. Hacks like this, on the other hand, benefit a very small number of people, which I'm also quite okay with. So I will quietly reap the rewards and I know that some other people have been doing it for the longest time and they've been quietly doing it. The reason why things have to be kept quiet is because if the bank actually knows about this secret, then yeah, it's gone for everybody and yeah, game over. So most people who practice these hacks will do it on the down low and do it quietly so that they can continue to reap the benefits. However, word on the street is that there are people selling this secret for money and I think it's a battle of time before more and more people get to know it and the whole loophole will be closed anyway. So it leaves me with a very interesting conundrum. Uh, remain status quo and watch the hack be closed anyway. Or do I sell this secret myself? Or three, uh, review it so that more people can enjoy it before it eventually goes away. Option one is not an option because 
the loophole will be closed and then I don't benefit from it. My readers and viewers don't benefit from it. So uh, there's no point in me staying quiet anymore. Number two, I don't really believe in selling things like that to people for money. I feel that uh, it's not my hack that I created. In fact, I learned it a couple of years ago in my own channel. So that's a benefit of creating my channel. And uh, yeah, so I don't feel comfortable selling something that is, that's not mine. And three would be to review it on my video and Telegram group as I'm doing right now, say for one part of the secret. So what do you think I should do? Should I just reveal it for free and everybody gets to benefit for as long as it lasts? Or just keep quiet and wait for the game to be closed anyway? Or maybe I should sell a course such that I can earn money by selling you this secret which will eventually close? Well, drop me a comment and let me know. And subscribe to my Telegram group because a decision will be made over the next few days. And yeah, I will uh, announce it on my Telegram channel what is the last hack, if any. And yeah, see you there.